I'm Michael Battelle, president and founder of the Fatty Liver Alliance. I'm here with Angelina, who is a patient who found out that she had fatty liver disease. And she was referred to me by Dr. Giada Sebastiani. And we just would love to hear your story, Angelina. Uh, first of all, how did you find out that you even had a problem with your liver? Okay, how did I find out? Is that I was always having a problem, like a, a pain uh, on my right side near the liver. So I went to my family doctor and I told him that I had the pain on my uh, right side near where my liver was. And he kept on saying, oh, don't worry, it's nothing, it's nothing, you're just overweight, you need to lose weight, and that's it. Over and over till I told him, okay, so listen, I, I'm, I, I'm okay, I'm, I'm okay, I know that I need to lose weight, but I want you to take uh, tests on me. So he sent me to a gastro uh, ontologist, and he did me tests, starting with the uh, blood test, and already there, they saw that there was a fatty liver just with the uh, blood tests they weren't just regular uh, it's blood tests to see exactly you know um liver function just with blood tests. Tests, yes what my doctor uh, my family doctor couldn't do he did you know he found out so we started with that then he did me a fiber scan he sent me from for mm -hmm. a fiber scan at the hospital um and anyway, he just kept on every year doing me fiber scans. And he, he also recommended I, I would lose weight. And after going to him so many times, he made me go to my hepatologist, to uh, Dr. Sebastiani. And, and she's following me from 2017. Okay. So, for, so we have uh, six years now, six, seven years. Yeah. So what did, what, what has anything progressed or she's just watching it with you to see what happens? Well, progressed is okay. So when I started to go to her, uh, 2017, uh, she, she would make me do, uh, I was on research. I started to go on the first research with her. I was on fatty liver and she, you know, by doing that, uh, she would tell me that I had to lose weight, which I started to lose weight quite a bit on what I was eating, strictly on what I was eating, going walking every morning for an hour. I had lost a lot of weight, yes. Uh, it, it got better, which they had always doing abdominal tests and fibers. My liver was much, much better. Yep. But then I just slacked off and uh, I gained all my weight back. And uh, now it's getting a l just a little bit more than what I used to have before. It's very frustrating, right? Trying but, to, in so many ways, you know, sometimes making the right food choices or the best food choices and, and the walking piece, we're always busy with everything. It's, it's very, very hard. And what kicked me off was then was because what I just left is because so much that I was at it and walking and walking, I ended up having a, a foot, my foot problem, uh, plantar frontisitis. Oh, yeah. That was all the walking that I did. And I traumatized my foot. So I had also went to the doctor for that. And that's what they had said. But I'm also looking into, because uh, I've got the fatty liver that if I would lose massive weight, it's going to get back to, to normal, which I'm thinking about for after so many years. But I've made my decision that at the end of the study, uh, if I have to do a bariatric, well, that's what I'm going to end up doing. Uh, there are a lot of people that have great success with that. It's yeah. not, that's yeah. not easy either. I mean, it's no, a, it's no, a absolutely procedure. Not. <laughs> it's absolutely a, not. I know. That's going to be hard too. So how did you feel, first of all, when you first found out that there was a problem with your liver and that's what you thought was happening? Uh, I felt very, uh, that's what gave me part of my anxiety too. Uh, I felt very frustrated, very anger, very like not motivated. It was not a, it was not a, 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 a how can I say it? it was not a good feeling anyway. I had help from my family to say, don't worry uh, by doing diets and, you know, watching what you eat, you're going to get better. But Yes, it, it, it was very frustrating because you hear lots of stories of what happens afterwards, which you yeah. don't exactly want to hear. Yeah, well, we, we definitely want to make sure that you don't progress to cirrhosis and then, exactly. God, God forbid, you need a transplant. I mean, that exactly. 
can happen too. So I I I know that uh, Dr. Sebastiani is an expert and and you're in really great hands. And yeah. so I guess that feels good too that you you did get tested, you found out that you had it, you have somebody watching you and you're encouraged to, yes, to make a change. Dr. Sebastiani keeps me going cuz right now I'm on another research for a year and just thinking that I'm in her hands and she always tells me, don't worry, Angelina, you won't get there. We'll do everything for you. Keeps me going. Okay. And do you have any advice for any other patients that might be watching this, that, that are going to be going through something similar to this? Uh, what do you mean? Like uh, some they, suggestions? They, well, they, they're, they're, they're worried about it too. And maybe they haven't seen a doctor yet. Should okay. They really, because it sounds like you were pretty um, confident I was going to say aggressive, but you're confident with your doctor to make sure that yes. they refer you, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, just like, you know, they just have to keep on going, try to watch as much as possible what they eat, which I know it's very hard, yes, but uh, by doing that, I mean, I mean, they won't reach to, uh, unless they have the uh, alcoholic one, I don't know which one, I have the the, the fatty one. The fatty one that is all to do with food and overweight. Yeah, it can it's, definitely it, it can definitely progress without without alcohol for sure. Right. Yeah, sure, 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 for sure. Yes, yeah, it could progress. Okay, Angelina, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. And no. uh, you're not alone. There are a lot of people that are in the same boat, unfortunately. I know. I know. And so hopefully you'll give them hope that they that they have other people that are struggling with the same thing. Of course, of course, they're not alone. We're all in it, all in the boat, and we all have to try our best to uh, help each other. I mean, uh, whenever we have suggestions, we just give it. Thank you. No problem. It was my pleasure.